The key to making a charcuterie platter is being able to say charcuterie if you can't just make up a word and be really confident when you say it. What works really well on these platters is having a hard cheese and a soft cheese. This is a triple creme soft cheese and it spreads really well on crackers. When you get honey, try to get one that complements the rest of the platter. For instance, I got a lot of earthy cheeses, so having a sweeter honey, like a cherry blossom honey, really brings out the flavors. That was my favorite Cave Age Gruyere from Whole Foods. Usually it burns a hole in my pocket, but today it was on sale. You definitely need salami on your cheese platter. This one's a spicy Calabrese, and oftentimes I like to taste different things on my cheese platter before I serve it to assure quality. Also, I get very hungry when I handle very delicious food. Also, I know cleaning the cheese board is a pain in the butt, but don't leave your wrappers on your cheese. It's very tacky. All right, so the hard and the expensive part is done. And now it's time to spruce up your platter with fruits and nuts. People may not necessarily eat these things, but they look super awesome on a platter. These are some dried apricots. They go well with the earthy cheese. And then I'm gonna put down some almonds and those go really well with the honey. Make sure to space the items on your board so they're not crowding each other and there's a little bit of space between them so it looks really pretty and presentable. And that's it. Look how classy and fancy you are. Your friends are gonna love you. Just make sure you don't mess it up by serving terrible wine.